Earthlings, what's up? Ready to rock your 3JS skills? Today's mission is designed for beginners. We're adding the moon to the earth. Let's launch into some cosmic coding and create a majestic masterpiece. Like and subscribe. I want to start with the earth project that we worked on in a, uh, in a previous video and add the moon. So, if, you, if you'd like to go to the link in the description and download the Earth project from my GitHub. And starting from there, we're just gonna add to it and create a moon. I'll do that right below the sunlight declaration and above the animate function. Um, we're gonna use the same geometry. We're just gonna create a new material, const moon mat equals a new mesh standard material. I've already included in the project, like so. And I don't know about that bump scale. We might wanna bump that up, but we'll start there. What the heck? Now, const moon mesh is equal to a new three dot mesh. And we're gonna use the geometry. No dude, just geometry and moon mat. And then scene.add moon mesh. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's see what happens. Oh, what do we have? I see a moon. I see a moon, but it's way too big. Um, let's see. What is the relative size of the moon versus the Earth? What I just read was that the moon is about a quarter the diameter of the Earth and about 1 80th its mass. I don't care about the mass. Um, I do care about that. Um, yeah, oh, that's nice. Look, I think that's properly sized. What if we move it closer? Look at the moon. Let's add a bump. Oh, we already have a bump map. Let's let's make the bump map super obnoxiously bumpy. Um, with the orbit controls, you can press and hold the command key, and then you can kind of translate the camera like so. Hmm, it's a nice looking moon though. I'd say. Let's make it orbit the Earth. Oh, I'm really excited about this project. I think this is awesome. A couple ways we could do this. We could just set its position again and again, or we could add it to a group and then rotate the group. I like the group idea because there's less math involved, even though the math would be kind of fun for this. It's just more flexible too. Let's call this const moon group equals a, a new moon dot group. Whoops. A three dot group and scene dot add moon group, and now we'll add the moon group. Uh, add that to the moon group, and now we can just rotate the moon group, uh, like so. Moon group dot rotation dot y. Yeah, but I want to speed it up. Just see how that looks. Okay, because the, the dark side of the moon is always on the dark side. How cool is that? Um, that's that. Thank you for checking in. Make sure to leave a comment below. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can do so over on Patreon. It's a great way to support this channel where everything's free anyway. Um, yeah. Thank you. Bye.